Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first project in 2021. At the end of the last year I bought this joint planer. It is about a hundred years old, so I want to fresh it up to give it a second life in my shop. This machine seems to be in a pretty good shape for its age and I was able to turn it on in its original shop and it made a pretty good impression. So it runs very smooth and well fairly silent, there's no noises from the bearings or so. So that's a good sign and it's made from massive cast iron. So it's very sturdy but also extremely heavy. It's by far the heaviest equipment I have in my shop so far. But with the help of a cup of tea and a few cookies from the previous owner of this machine, two friends and I were strong enough to be able to move this heavy beast. Big thanks to all of them. We took the two tables and the motor off and used a pallet jack to move it around and into the horse trailer. A horse trailer is pretty useful for moving heavy equipment because of its hatchback. The only thing that could be a little challenging is to strap everything securely in the trailer as it doesn't have a lot of fixing points for the straps. But it's definitely doable if you prepare it before. So now I have this massive chunk of iron in my shop and somehow need to restore it on my own. As all three of us together were barely able to lift one tabletop, one of the two tabletops, I think they have around 100 kilo or so, maybe a little more. And so to be able to move these things all on my own safely without bouncing stuff together or letting it fall on my toes, I need lifting equipment. So as you've seen in the thumbnail, I'm going to build a gantry crane. Well, this probably won't be the only time in my life a gantry crane comes in handy, so I want to try to build it as versatile as possible, so it hopefully can handle any situation I will need it in. So I came up with some specs. At first I wanted to be able to lift at least a thousand kilograms of weight. Then I do not want to lose any height as the ceiling of my workshop is pretty low. So the chain hoist has to hang in between the gantry and not underneath. I also want it to fit through doors. So I can maybe bring stuff in and out or a small doorstep or so. I want it to fit over big trucks so I can unload stuff from a truck. I also want it to be able to compensate steps. I think that could be pretty handy in future. And I want to be able to assemble it all on my own. Well, if that works, we will see when it's finished. And last but not least, as you can see, I want it to fit all in my small car so I can take it with me whenever I need to pick up some heavy equipment. You've already seen me cutting all the tubing to size, just two of them were quite not long enough so I had to weld some cutoffs back together again. Therefore I just clamped them together so they do not warp too much during welding. This connecting centerpiece is probably the trickiest to fabricate as the steep angles in the tubing I had to cut with the angle grinder, they are probably not that precise. So I've cut these wooden wedges with the perfect angle as a reference for clamping the parts perfect on the welding table to weld them. Sometimes it makes life just so much easier to clamp stuff vertically on the side of the welding table. I needed to drill a lot of holes into these vertical pieces. So I wanted to do that with the drill press. But the table of the drill press is fairly small to support these big pieces. So I used my lifting table as extension for that and adjusted the height perfectly according to the table height of the drill press. Mm -hmm. 
Well, and for this problem, I used my built-in tilt adjustment of the lifting table. Works perfect. Next parts to make are these bolts or pins. You could easily buy them fairly cheap, but I always wanted to try to make some ball detents and I got an oiling tool for Christmas I wanted to use. The tips of my snap ring pliers were too big, so I had to improvise a little bit and two angled welding rods are working surprisingly well for this. I made the gantry 2.7 meters wide so it fits over every truck and I could make this whole frame from one piece of 6 meter tubing. <laughs> 